This is Elena from, and welcome to Mixology AF. Today we are going to make a drink and a snack based on the Cape Canaveral Caprizi, again from Fancy AF. Um, we also have a special guest joining us today via Zoom from Sydney, which is Anna Lee, and she is going to make this along, from, along with us from home. Before we get started, do remember to hit subscribe, and let's get down to it. I mentioned we're going to make the Cape Canaveral Caprizi, which is a drink and a snack. And I picked that specifically because Anna Lee loves a drink and a snack. So we have it's reading through the recipe. I think it's kind of a cross between a martini and a Bloody Mary. Would you say? Yeah. yeah. So what you need again, it's pretty simple. Um, let's start by chilling our glass. So let's put some ice in. I'm using a martini glass use whatever you want really depends how big your drink is uh, you're going to need some cherry tomatoes some basil mozzarella balls a bit of cracked pepper and the good stuff vodka balsamic vinegar and some simple syrup have you got everything you need Annalie I'm ready to go okay so the first thing we're gonna do so I've pre-made my garnishes because otherwise I get too excited about the drink at the end and I forget so I've just done a tomato, some basil, and a mozzarella ball. Throw a little bit of cracked pepper over them. Or a lot, because I like pepper. OK, then we're going to take cocktail shaker. And I've got three cherry tomatoes. I'm just going to cut them in half, pop them in the shaker. Then where's my jigger? Oops. So then take simple syrup. You're going to want like three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. So that's in mils. I don't know. I'm not even going to try and guess. We're just going to call it in ounces. How about that? Because the recipe is in ounces. So that's what we're going to work with. And I clearly need to make some more simple syrup. Yeah. OK, three quarters of an ounce of that. Just give my balsamic vinegar a quick shake. I'll get that later. Um, a quarter ounce of balsamic vinegar, so that's going to be like five mils, seven mils, something like that. That was probably too much. And whoops, that would be the lid. And now we're going to muddle it. So that's going to be very juicy, so be careful. Don't splash. I can see Annalie's wearing a, uh, a light blue top, so I'm like. <laughs> so gently muddle. So you want it nice and juicy. Definitely going to need the strainer for this. I wonder what I did with my strainer. I'll find it in a sec. Okay. Are you happy with your muddling, Annalie? Uh, then the most important thing, we're going to do about an ounce and a half of vodka. Oops, try not to splash it all over the place. You ready to shake, Annalie? Almost. A little bit of ice in the shaker. Dry my hands off. Right. This one we definitely do not want to spill because I don't want tomatoes all over the place. And give it about a 10 second shake. Quickly get the lid off before it freezes. Woo, I did it. Yay. Strainer. All right. Now I just want some fresh. That ice has melted a little bit, so I'll put some fresh ice in this glass. It's my drink. I can use my hands if I want. Strain that in. I feel like it needs a little bit of black pepper on top of that, too. Oh, that is pretty. All 
Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's because I pre-made before we started. <laughs> oh, it smells so nice and fresh. And there we go, a drink and a snack. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, I like that. Mmm. And I have excellent cherry tomatoes. They're really good. Wow, that is so nice. Mmm. All right. Thank you, Annalie. Thank you for joining. And remember, hit subscribe. Thanks. Bye.